outside the courthouse, celebration and prayer. Lord, we thank you for your justice prevailed and reigned today. While inside, a somber verdict came down. We, the jury on the charge of manslaughter in the first degree, find the defendant guilty. Police body camera footage captured the last moments of 20-year-old Dante Wright's life. Okay, so you are going to be under arrest, okay? The proud father of a toddler was driving to a car wash when police pulled him over because of expired tags and an air freshener dangling illegally from his rearview mirror. Police tried to arrest him because of an outstanding warrant. In the scuffle, veteran officer Kim Potter drew her gun taser, taser, taser. and shot Wright in the heart. I shot him! Oh my God! Potter said she thought it was her taser. I'm sorry it happened. For a while, it seemed the jury might be hung. They asked the judge what would happen if they couldn't reach a consensus. They asked to be able to see the gun for themselves, to judge whether this was an act of recklessness or a mistake. Their decision, a relief to Wright's mother. The moment that we heard guilty on the um, manslaughter one emotions, I kind of let out a yelp because it was built up in the anticipation of what was to come. Wright was killed just kilometers from the courthouse where Derek Chauvin was being tried in the murder of George Floyd. That case also ended with a former police officer being convicted. Minnesota's Attorney General says it signals change. But accountability is an important step, a critical, necessary step on the road to justice for us all. Kim Potter is now living with that accountability. She was denied bail and taken into custody to await sentencing in February. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Washington.